Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Pizza Loving Nerd here. Um, so today I'm gonna show you how you can customize your uh, your OpenSUSE install. So um, now I've already gone a little bit ahead, so I booted up the OpenSUSE DVD and selected GNOME as my desktop, and um, I'm just clicking next, and I'm gonna just get through the first part really quickly. Um, I'm definitely not setting my password to password, but uh, So this is where we want to be. So um, if you'd like to change your bootloader, click on bootloading and you can change stuff. Um, if you'd like to customize the software, click on software. And once again, you can customize stuff. Default system detarget, you can do graphical or text mode, etc. Now the main fo thing we're, we are going to focus on is software. So. Um, so, uh, now, um, you can customize exactly what software you want to be installed. So, if I want KDE, um, I can click install on it. Um, so now XFCE is marked install. You can even mark stuff as never install. So, yeah, that's nice. Um, so... Yeah, you can basically set up what you'd like to install with this, and it's pretty nice. Um, I can install all of the environments if I wanted to. Um, see, it's seizing up my disk usage now, but, and then I can click OK and install and confirm, and it would install everything. Um, however, we still haven't gotten into the full potential of customizing your OpenSUSE install. If you use the net install ISO, you can do much more. So, um, let me do this really quickly. I didn't partition the hard drives on this one. So this time, I'm in the net install ISO instead of the normal DVD. So I'm in the net install ISO, and this does use more internet, but, um, you can customize this a lot more. Um, dang it, did I close the other, uh, VM? I think I did. Oh, no, I didn't. So we're just going to open this as reference for later. Anyways, let me go over t and set up some partitions really quickly. Um, okay, um, I f did I set up a partition table? Um, all right. Um, so, once we get over to the software, um, and hold on one second, um, let me just fix this. Um, this time I'm changing the password to, uh, slightly something different that isn't password. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's just say I removed the P. <laughs> So it's ass word. <laughs> um, anyways, I thought that'd be funny, but it isn't. Um, but, uh, so, um, as you can see now, if I ended up going to software on the net install ISO, there's GNOME Basic, but then, the, um, this one has GNOME Wayland and GNOME X11, but also this one has, um, GNOME Basic too. This one also contains the LXQT desktop environment, Enlightenment, and Mate. All of these are desktops that the net install ISO does not include. Um, now also if we scroll down, um, uh, if we scroll down a little bit, um, you may notice that this has a little bit more server functions. So this one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 server functions. This one has 5, 10, this one has 13. And then also, um, if we go to development, the net install ISO has so much more stuff for development. So, um, this one has base C, um, tools for packaging stuff. Um, this one has, uh, eight different, um, development packages. But this one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, tw um, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, um, stuff under development. And then there's also um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 stuff under base technologies on this one. Um, this 
the non-net install one only has like um nine <laughs> and then also this one contains a whole new category on open susa cubic um so this one does not have cubic open susa so yeah um other than that though um if you if you don't want any of the software in the net install, I recommend using the normal DVD. This one installs a lot faster. However, if you'd like to customize your OpenSUSE install more, get the net install ISO. You have so much more options on what you can do with it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this one has a lot more softwares you can choose. And, yeah. So, I'm going to be using the net install for, um, as my preferred ISO for OpenSUSE. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.